In this video, we are going to use Prime Chain to create a portable KYC record for a customer. So as you can see, I'm logged into my Prime Chain web interface. I go to Know Your Customer, Create New KYC Record. This option is available to users of the rank of Employee or Admin. I click on Create New KYC Record. Now as we can see, we need to upload the photograph of the customer, some primary information, the first of which is the Prime Chain address or the account number. So here you could enter either the blockchain address of the customer or his bank account or any other relevant number. The full name, date of birth, mobile number, father's name, mother's name, country of primary citizenship, you can choose from the drop down, country of primary residence, again you can choose from the drop down, government issued ID which is passport, driving license, national ID, income tax registration number, you could put one or more of these and other documents, utility bill or tenancy agreement. It is very easy to customize this page further. Unlimited number of new entries can be created if these are insufficient. And after filling it in, we simply need to click on issue. I have now entered some dummy data. I have also uploaded a photograph. Let's just scan through this. So we have all the primary information filled up. Information about the government issued IDs and other documents. Now we simply click on issue. Now let's see what all has happened. Firstly, the form data that we submitted, the hash or the SHA512 hash of that is computed. Secondly, this hash is signed using the private key of the logged in user. So the employee who logged in to create this KYC record, that employee's private key is used to digitally sign this hash using the ECDSA or the elliptical curve digital signature algorithm. Third step, the digital signature which has been generated in the second step, the hash generated in the first step and the prime chain address of the signer. These three pieces of information are stored in the blockchain. Fourthly, the form data is encrypted using AES or the advanced encryption standard algorithm. And finally, the encrypted data and the tag are published to the specified trade channel. Now a trade channel is like a database on the blockchain. You can create unlimited number of trade channels. Whenever we use AES or advanced encryption standard to encrypt data, it produces three things. Encrypted data, the tag and the initialization vector. We publish the encrypted data and the tag to the blockchain, not the initialization vector. Now this is what the output looks like. Let me explain it. The first is the ID of the transaction in which the encrypted data and tag were published to the blockchain or the trade channel. The second is the ID of the transaction in which the digital signature, hash and the signer's blockchain address were published to the trade channel or blockchain. The third is the digital signature. I'm showing a truncated version here. The fourth is the AES password. The fifth is the AES initialization vector. And finally, we have the trade channel name. You can also see the verification URL. You can copy this to your clipboard and this can be emailed to anybody. And that person will then be able to see the entire details of the portable KYC record. However, we'll see that in the next step. Now let's head to the view KYC records. Now this is the record that we've just created. Now we can view the record, we can share the record and we can generate the QR code for this record. When we click on view, the URL that is going to open up, this is what it looks like. As we can see, this URL contains the TX ID of the data, the transaction ID or TX ID of the digital signature, the AES password, and the trade channel name. This is how it would be displayed to a logged in user. It says record retrieved successfully. The digital signature, hash, and the prime chain address of the signing entity are retrieved from the blockchain. Secondly, the encrypted data and tag are retrieved from the blockchain. Thirdly, the encrypted data is decrypted 
and finally the digital signature is verified and here the entire KYC record is displayed. Let's head back to the previous screen. We've seen what happens when we click on view. When we click on share we can email the record to somebody and we can also generate the QR code for this record. Let's see how that works. I would recommend that at this stage you can pause this video and scan this QR code using your cell phone. Now if you are using an iPhone then you don't need any specific app. Your camera will automatically be able to detect this QR code and immediately it will open up the relevant KYC record. If you are using an Android phone you can use any generic QR code scanning app. There are hundreds of them that are freely available. Simply open that app up and point towards the QR code and you will immediately be able to see the KYC record.